Okay, so after the Prince of Darkness, the most powerful wizard of his generation, fails to kill a teenage boy 1v1 countless times, he retires and decides that he's better off flipping burgers for muggles. I don't blame him, actually. I mean, dark magic is cool and all, probably helped him pull a lot of gold bitches, but yeah. No, he likes flipping beef. How oh, the tables have turned. Yeah. <laughs> actually, it turns out he's quite good at it too, so he slowly but surely ascends the ranks and becomes the ultimate chef, the man. He's the master chef of the 69 Michelin star restaurant now, located on a private island, he's the man. Now, all his customers are filthy rich, like the richest of the rich, the 0.01%, the Post Malones. But it looks like he isn't really enjoying himself all that much, because rich people are cringe, so one night he decides to kill all his guests, and, and himself too, after he feeds them, of course. Because, uh, like my late Babuska used to say, you can go off to bed on an empty stomach now, can you? Only that this restaurant was their deathbed. Also, the staff agreed to die with him for some reason. They were like, fuck it, mate. I guess they had nothing better to do. So, Chef Sloik, also known as Lord Voldemort III, or Ray Fiennes, or M, or that ridiculous bloke from in Bruges, or simply Julian, has made sure that each and every one of his guests that night are absolute pieces of shit. Though as this irritating third critic that flexes her abysmal dictionary knowledge all night, her cock husband, that actor who played the, in a movie the chef didn't like, his opportunist friend, a nerd, some super rich old people with dementia, three finance bros who committed tax fraud, and his mother who likes to drink a little more than she can handle. But wait, there's this other girl, Margaret. Chef Slowick is confused. That girl wasn't on the blacklist. Someone else was on the list and he got this fine-looking, bog-eyed young lady instead. What the shit was going on? He doesn't know what to do, so he spies her in the bathroom. Good thing she was only smoking in there and not taking a shit. <laughs> Turns out the young lady portrayed by the actress I've seen before somewhere is being paid to be there by the nerd and she's an escort girl. She's getting paid to be there just like I am to be on silver. Voldemort is like, you know what, fuck it. It goes on to serve tacos with NFTs sketched on the surface. Everybody freaks the f*** out because there are real-life pictures of them engraved on the tacos, which is super sauce, but Chef's like, so hey everybody, here's my boy Jeremy. He's the shoe chef. The crowd is expecting Jeremy to serve them sushi or some shit, but Jeremy summons a gun and shoots himself in the throat. So naturally everybody's now losing their shit and they can't believe it, except for that nerd who's like, lol, I didn't see that coming. And the stuff is like, calm down everybody, calm down and stay seated please. Just the way school teachers were expecting me to stay chill under the desk if we ever got a fucking earthquake. Bitch, I'm making a run for it. Uh, don't you dare stand in my way because you know what will happen. After that, Chef Slowick reveals he's been holding captive his investor, who is now in a Lucifer cosplay, and he drowns him in the sea in the most awkward way I've ever seen in my life. Then he takes the guests outside to tell him how he sexually harassed this employee of his in the past and makes her stab him in the dick with a pair of kitchen scissors. The exact weapon he used to stab his abusive father back when he was still a kid in Bratislava. Or Iowa or Egypt, or Nebraska, I'm confused. Then he tells the males to literally run away so he can claim all the bitches for himself, but when he stays alone with the ladies, he leaves too, because he's playing a mixed strategy and wants to appear mysterious and independent. The girls go back inside because it's freezing out here, and five minutes later the guys arrive all sweaty. Then Voldemort takes his nerdy kid and bullies him into cooking a dish for him to set dominance. The nerd is terrified and fails spectacularly, and the chef tells him to go hang himself. 
The beta nerd shuts up and literally does as he's told. Then the chef quotes some Martin Luther King, chops off the finger of an old man and tells Margaret to go fetch him a barrel from his house to look like a traditional male who likes to order women around. She does as she's told too, but when she reaches his house, he finds the opportunity to stop that annoying Asian lady. Then she finds cute pics of him flipping burgers for McDonald's back in the day in the 80s or something. And she's like, oh, but then she finds a radio and contacts the authorities that there's this motherfucking murder fest going on down there. Then the water police arrives, but turns out it's just one guy in a fake Adidas jacket. Look. <laughs> They're all in two stripes. <laughs> this fucking guy. But then he pulls out a gun and he's like, get the fuck back everybody. Chef on your knees with your hands over your head. And then he does that. And leaves. Love this guy. Got to love the BM. Then the chef is like, all right. Not fucking around. Time to die. But Margaret jumps up and says, well, I'm still hungry, mate. And then the chef's like, all right, what do you want me to cook for you, princess? And that's the only time he broke alpha posture in the whole movie, guys. If you look closer, you will see him loosening his shoulders, letting his head decline 35 degrees downwards. Never face the floor, guys. Always keep your posture straight or you're scared of females away. And be kicked out of Hustlers University all the way back to Hustlers High School to take courses from Alec Baldwin. And trust me when I say this, you don't want that, guys. So Margaret orders some mac and cheese and Chef's like, What? Oh, that shit lame. I'm gonna make you a whole Travis Scott meal. Then Chef Slowick proceeds to make the meal and it looks like he's having a good time for the last time of his life. He serves Margaret, she takes a bite. Oi mate, that's bloody delicious. Could I pack it for home to feed the dog? Chef Slowick realizes he's got no chance with this girl. He gives her a free boat and lets her go home. Then he explodes. All jokes aside, I really like this movie, guys.